This video shows you how to make your own paper circuit robot. So the fifth graders got to design a three-dimensional robot using a motor and batteries and we were studying circuits and energy. This robot, the paper circuit robot, is going to be a two-dimensional drawing of a robot. So you get to design a robot and use your drawing skills to practice creating value and drawing three-dimensional shapes. Now we've already learned how to draw the cylinder and use shading and value to make it look three-dimensional. When you draw your robot, we're going to use some other three-dimensional shapes called forms, like the cube and the sphere, to create your own paper robot. Now this robot is going to use energy as well um, after we're finished drawing, tracing, coloring, and then painting the background of our robot. We are going to be using copper tape and small LED lights to actually make a complete circuit so that your robot really lights up. And you can see mine, once I connect the circuit, it actually does light up. This eye, I don't know why that one's not lighting up, but we'll have to experiment and fix it. So to start this project, you need a piece of poster board. We can't use paper because it needs to be a very thick piece of poster board. We also need um, to decide what forms and shapes we're going to use for our robot. I really like this one. I think he's adorable and he reminds me of a show that I watch called Adventure Time. So this shape is kind of like a cube, but it's a rectangular prism. So I want to make sure that I use all of the space on my paper, and I want to make sure that my robot has symmetrical balance. Balance means that both sides match. So I always start with pencil first, and I draw light until I get it right and write my name on it. So I'm going to start with the shape of the rectangle. Now, on a poster board, it has a shiny side and a smooth side. You want to draw on the smooth side. And of course, you could always draw with um, a pencil first. Now, that's kind of like a cube. It kind of reminds me of SpongeBob. It looks like a rectangle. But I'm going to add right here some lines that go down to make it look three-dimensional. So here's a line that kind of goes down, and then I need to draw a straight line. If you want to use a ruler, you can come borrow some of the rulers that I have um, in the art room. But I'm just going to try to draw it as straight as possible. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. This is going to be his face. Now I'm going to draw a little antenna. And it's important to add details to make it actually look like a real robot. I'm going to draw the cute little eyes. Those are an oval shape, so that's not actually a form. And then he's got like a little zigzag mouth. He's got rectangle. Now I'm going to add some other details like his feet. The feet also are supposed to look three-dimensional. So you want to draw the front, the sides, and um, the, the bottom of the foot. This one kind of looks like he's walking. So just by using simple shapes and lines, you can design your own robot. Just make sure that you draw really big, you add lots of details, and I've ordered enough of the small batteries so that everyone can make theirs a light up robot. Now, once you're finished drawing all the details with pencil, you could use a Sharpie or actually
So good luck drawing your robot when you are finished tracing everything and shading in your robot. You can paint the background and then we need to decide where your battery is going to go. So you need to trace a battery somewhere. I think I'm going to make my battery pack right here. And then we're going to poke two holes where you want the lights to be. With my robot, I'm just going to put one light right here at the top. So good luck making your awesome robots. And remember our goal is to create value, to draw three-dimensional forms and shapes, and to make sure that our robot has symmetry, which means both sides match. So have fun and good luck.